Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. It's Luton Town up against Watford. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And so the initial 11 for Watford. Well, I'm just a little worried. They might be too negative here. They're certainly going to be hard to break down with that five-man midfield. But will they have enough going the other way? I'm not sure. And so the battle commences. Hamza Chowdhury. Saar in possession. Chowdhury. Lusa. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? And disappointingly, straight into the wall. Can they convert? Oh, a goal! There it is! And the crowd stunned into silence! Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Pelly Rodikampanzu. Mpanzu. It's with Nakamba. Tom Lockyer. Marvellous Nakamba. A really sumptuous ball.
Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Bakuna. Chowdhury. On to Saar. Really vital interception here. business on this occasion a well, disappointing end to the move Ismail Assar and the pass a good one still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it can he put them ahead really sound goalkeeping well that had to be a goal didn't it what a stop that is. Short corner taken. Could be threatening. Textbook defending inside the box. Elijah Adebayo. Hamza Chowdhury. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Mpanzu. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Lusa. Pedro. Went in strongly to win the ball. And a throw in here for Watford. They know they need to stop him. Can they get themselves in front here? And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again. And the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Imran Lusa. There to take it away. Keenan Davis. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. And played short.
that is that for the first half here I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far well what a first half he had I thought he was outstanding he caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace and he fully deserved his two goals and I expect more from him in the second half Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Hamza Chowdhury. Pedro. Well, lovely work to get past his man. And space to cross it. Is this the moment? And that's the Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Elijah Adebayo. He might be able to carve something out. Far from a good pass. Well, Watford have certainly tried to control the flow of the game, as those stats confirm, and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch, and I don't think anything's going to change that. Yes, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. And intercepts again. Adebayo. Campbell. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Crossing opportunity. Can he get one back? What a save. Gaspar Ismail Assar Ryan Porteous are showing good patience I think I spoke too soon wasn't the best of passes finally Elijah Adebayo well the supporters think it's on well the keeper has outdone himself wonderful save and they are committed to making the substitution here. Played over. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. On attacking possibilities. Could be a chance to break here. He's in behind. Oh, he saved it! Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. But he's gone short with it. 
He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Ten minutes to go then. Elijah Adebayo. Carlton Morris. Ismail Assar. Went in strongly, decisively. Plenty of support here. It comes to absolutely nothing. Now can they counter clinically? Davis. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Well, no stopping him. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. And, and there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round.